Good morning. I would really have liked to be with you in the room uh, this morning or this day, but uh, unfortunately that's not possible um, for many reasons. But uh, unfortunately then we can be together in this way. Uh, so the modern technology helps us. Um, as many of you know, I'm an old friend of Misa. I have worked with you in different ways through uh, different uh, or several decades. And uh, that's why I've been asked to, to, to give a few uh, thoughts of mine about what, what way you go in the future. And there's one big uh, advantage of, of being uh, in this box, and that is that I'm so far away that you cannot beat me. And, and I'm, I need to be away from you because I have promised myself I want to be quite provocative today. Uh, that's what you have friends for. Uh, only real friends tell you if your dress is not looking good on you. So. All the girls will know that. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> my message to you really is that you're living in, in very difficult times. Uh, what has changed over the past decade or so in, in the general development uh, world uh, or, or development organizations and donor organizations is that there's a greater and greater demand for showing results. Um, you have now that the buzzword is results oriented monitoring. So that means that it's no longer enough just to have an organization. It's no longer enough just to be MISA and be there. Uh, and it's not, a, it's not a result just to have a chapter in all countries. There must be some results in, in terms of, of, uh, of, of potential things that you can do. We did this and it resulted in this. Now, but how do you do that? Uh, we all know that MISA Zimbabwe is one of the strongest chapters. MISA Zimbabwe has worked uh, has has uh, worked for, 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 for better press legislation, uh, better conditions for the media in Zimbabwe for decades. And they still have lousy media laws in Zimbabwe. They still have police confiscating radio uh, uh, receivers from people uh, who, who have received them from various organizations. You still have uh, censorship. You still have beating up of, of journalists. So how can you say that, that, that Misa Zimbabwe is working well? Well, that's really a big challenge uh, to show results. And it's a big challenge to say that because we did this, then this happened. But nonetheless, this is what, this is what, uh, this is what the donors, organiza donor organizations need. And this is because of the political pressure from, from, uh, from, from the governments and, and from the parliamentarians. As you may know, we have some kind of crisis in, uh, in Europe. And, and basically the, the, the thinking is why should we give money to the Africans or to anybody else uh, if we are so poor ourselves? So greater uh, focus on showing results and greater focus on trying to make projects which can yield results. Um, Another challenge that you have these years is, is that donor organizations are simply cutting down on staff. Uh, one project officer in DFID or in Danida or Deutsche Welle will have to, to work with huge budgets. So, so there's no time to, to sit and, and work with small individual organizations. You may have seen that uh, in your own countries, that if you go and present a small project, they say, no, no, we can't do that because the administration of a $5,000 uh, project is almost as big as a $5 million project. So they want bigger projects and they want no trouble. They want uh, everything to be in international standards. They want um, accounting to be okay. They want reporting to be okay. So they're using intermediaries uh, more and more. Uh, just, uh, I just finished a study with, uh, together with Andrew Purifat who is a former Article 19 director. Um, and what we saw was that more than 10% of all EU funds for media development went through the BBC. It doesn't mean the BBC gets all the money, but it means the BBC are receiving 10%. And out of that 10%, quite a lot goes to BBC consultants. Internews, 5%. So what you see is you have more and more uh, in Mozambique, for example, Ibis is, is checking on, on, uh, on Misa, uh, Mozambique, uh, and other organizations. So, so the donors are using intermediaries to make sure that, that, that things are okay. It's a way of putting, uh, taking responsibility away from, from the fewer and fewer, uh, desk officers and they place it in bigger organizations. And what it means is that you get less and less money for the actual projects. I'm sure that your friends from, I, I just visited uh, Zimbabwe last uh, August, or when was it? Um, 
There's a big project there administered by Deutsche Welle, and you can mean a lot about that. But the thing is that all these organizations who used to receive money directly from the EU are receiving less funds because Deutsche Welle is now uh, the administrator of, of the funds. And that is a tendency that you will see uh, grow. In fact, MISA would have the potential to be intermediary. But it means that there's no room for mistakes. There's no room for, for corruption. There's no room for not reporting. There's no room for pocketing money. And if just one uh, chapter is abusing funds or not performing or not, uh, not reporting or whatever, it falls back on in the entire MISA. And that is a big challenge these days. MISA can be the, the, the intermediary. MISA does have the capacity to receive funds directly and to be the partner of choice or whatever the boss word is today. But it means you have to behave and all the, uh, all the chapters must behave very, very well. Now, um, there's another big question, apart from this uh, showing results, that, that there is a challenge uh, today, and that is that, that, that the donors are basically asking you, what kind of organization do you want? Um, I know that you managed, since I was involved a couple of years ago, to, to, to streamline your governance structure, so you don't have three or four or five layers anymore, that is a bit more streamlined. You have one board of directors and so on. Um, but I know the question is, what, what then? Do you need a head, a head office? Do you need a branch uh, or a chapter in all countries? Uh, how, how do you want to be organized? And that, I'm happy to say that I cannot just give you the answer because there is no simple answer to that. That's what you have to discuss uh, these days. But what I do know is, is that it's no longer good enough just to sit in your chapter office and uh, receive three salaries and, and then uh, wait for money from Windhoek. Because money from Windhoek will stop uh, if you do not uh, perform at chapter level. So, whatever you do, however you, you organize yourself, one critical thing is that each chapter must prove that it's necessary to have this chapter. Each chapter must prove that... that um, that, that, that is worth keeping alive. Well, and then, uh, in order not to bore you too much, I, I, I'll, I'll finish, but I'll finish by, by raising one big uh, issue, and that is the issue of why is MISA still, after so many years, is it 20 years or more, still a, a primarily a journalist association? MISA is fighting for freedom of media, freedom of the press, uh, but why, why is that a journalism issue uh, alone? I think that is really a weakness, that you have very good journalists sitting in the organizations around, but where are the lawyers, where are the, env uh, the environment people, where are the doctors, where are the human rights activists? Freedom of speech and, 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 uh, and the free media is not just an issue for journalists and editors. It's a society uh, issue. And if you want to become the organization working for uh, freedom of the media and freedom of the press, then you have to include other people. You have to include the lawyers. You have to include the others. Uh, because you need the authors, the, the writers, uh, the actors... Uh, the musicians, for that matter. You have to, to have a broader base uh, if you want to be the, the uh, organization really uh, significant in, in Southern Africa uh, to work in this field. Um, I simply don't understand how, how you can have, uh, let's say, you have more than 30, 35 uh, employees in, in MISA and not one is a lawyer. And you're working for, for better media, uh, media laws. That doesn't add up, guys. You have to look at this uh, and and uh, broaden your base and also broaden your 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 staff base. Uh, Misa is not just a place where you can go if you if you've been a good volunteer and then you can get uh, elected uh, as chairman and then afterwards you can get a paid job uh, sitting in the secretariat waiting for the money from Windhoek. Uh -uh. Days long gone, my friends. So.
try to be a bit more strategic and and actually I think this is where you should have your focus for the next couple of years uh, because as I understand you have uh, funds uh, allocated from the Scandinavian donors for the next two three years but that will come to an end you will end up in exactly the same situation a couple of years uh, where they will ask you so Misa what are you going to do and uh, if you can come up with the answer saying now we are in the, the process of broadening our ba- our membership base we have done this and these specific uh, uh, projects we had tried to, to target this and this uh, specific project uh, program in this country, then there's a chance that they will continue. But you have to be much more efficient in, in, uh, in the way you do things. It's not enough just to be MISA. You have to do MISA business. So now I'm sure you want to beat me, at least some of you. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to be far away. If uh, things are working out and, and if, if uh, the, the technology is with us, then uh, we might be able to, to connect on a, on a live uh, voice uh, connection in a minute. If, if that doesn't work, then I'll just wish you some very good days and, and uh, I'll wish you a very good future and make sure that there's a Misa that I can work with also next year. Thank you very much for listening to me. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.